Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is October. Yes, fall is officially here. That's why I, I count October 1st as the first day of fall. Mostly because I don't know if you noticed, we have a ton of color on the trees right now. Um, water temps are in the mid 50s. It's so definitely, definitely cooling down up north. Air temps, I think, are about the same right now. Um, we've had a couple really cold nights to get into the upper 30s. So um, these crappie, even though we're on the river, there's some of them are starting to push off a little deeper. So we're gonna be using side imaging, focusing on the current breaks that are caused by rock piles or rock spines, sandbars, um, and any type of lay down. That's where a lot of these fish are stacking up on this river. We're gonna run down river, find them with the side imaging, and I'm gonna show you how to tie on the double jig setup. We're gonna be using the Euro Tackle Fat Assassins. You can get these for just $1 when you sign up for two more cast tackle box subscription. Huge thank you to Two More Casts for sponsoring this video. When you sign up for your first month, you can sign up for just $1. You're gonna get an assortment of these plastics that I'm gonna be using today. After that, you're gonna get an assortment of multi-species lures, hair jigs, crankbaits, jerkbaits, spoons, a bunch of different stuff you can not only use for crappie, but other species as well. Do me a favor, click the top link in the video description, pick up what I'm gonna be using today, these Euro Tackle Fat Assassins for just $1. So do that right now, click that top link, sign up. Huge thanks again for two more casts for sponsoring this video. Let's run down river. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking for on side imaging and where these crappie are stacked up. And then let's put some fish in the boat. I'm gonna show you kind of this rock spine I found last week and what these fish are actually gonna look like on side imaging here. I am recording, yep. So any type of current break where, that's up river right there. So current's coming down this way. If you can find any type of currency, and that's where these crappie like to hang out, they do not like to hang out in the main part of the, the channel. Um, unless it's slower current, lower water, then you might find them there. But for the most part, these crappie like to hang out in slack water. There's a, there's a rock pile here that I'm going to show you. that had a ton of fish on it a few days ago. And there's the start of the rock pile kind of come up, it kind of swings into the current and then drops back out. But there's, you can see there's timber on the left and I'm sure there's some fish up, up shallow. Yeah, I'm sure there's a fish, some fish on that log, but this is what I'm looking at right here. These big sections of timber that stick out and you can see there's a ton of bait fish. And it looks like there are I'm going to show you on the live scope a little bit better. There's a ton of bait fish throughout here too, which is the other thing. If you can find oxygen and, and bait fish or food, you're going to find some crappie. But this is what I'm looking for on my side imaging. Just these big, you can see these big pieces of timber. I don't know if they're old dock pilings or just driftwood that gets stacked up against these rocks. But there are fish on them. They're hard to see. They're bright specks right over the top of the, the rock pile. Um, I'm going to go back over it one more time downstream, get you a little bit better look at it. We see these shadows sticking up. Those are vertical pieces of timber, and that shadow is created when that side imaging sends that beam out. It hits the object and it can't see behind the other, or it can't, the sonar doesn't go behind the object, and it creates a shadow. And the longer the shadows are, the more something's sticking up in the water. So there's some big pieces of vertical timber down there on this rock spine. It's hard to tell because there's a ton of bait down there, but there's crappie in it. So let's uh, get up on live scope, tie this double jig set up and start catching fish. All right, to tie this set up, it's, it's super simple. You're gonna take your top jig, which this one is gonna be my, my pink. These are 16 ounce ACC jigs. And once you get it into the eyelet, you're just gonna slide it right up the line. Right that, okay. There's my, ooh, there's my jig. Just gonna let it fall straight up the line. Second jig, same thing. You're, you're gonna put it through the eyelet and you got a couple choices. You can either tie a loop knot or some sort of a cinch down knot. In this case, I'm just gonna tie a, an improved clinch knot, which I have another video on. So you're just gonna put your middle finger uh, between the tag end and the main line and you're gonna pinch it together and then you're just gonna wrap that tag end around the main line five, six times. 
and you got this hole that you created with your middle finger, you're going to put the tag line back through that hole. And as you do that, you create this other loop right here, and you put that tag line back through that loop. So you got this kind of mess going on here, okay? And then you're going to pull it tight, you're going to wet it, and then you're going to slowly cinch it down to the top of that jig. Now, the reason I'm doing this over a loop knot is I want as much control as possible. There's a lot of timber down here, and even though a loop knot's going to give me a lot of action, it, you do lose a little bit of control of your jig, and I want as much control as possible. Now, this top jig that we got here, unfortunately the only knot you're going to be able to tie is the loop knot. So, I'm going to pull out, those are my jigs right there, I'm going to leave about 8 inches or so, and then all you're going to do is you're going to pinch the lines together with both hands, and you're going to flip the jig over one time. Flip it over once, there's a loop right there, and I'm just going to put that jig through that loop, right that. Pull it tight right there, and there you go. There's your double jig setup. We're gonna go pink and chartreuse. These are the fat assassins. They're the grub style, but they are gonna work to mimic bait fish as well, just because of the size of the body. They're two inch style baits. But as you can see, it's got a lot of tail action. And then this one's gonna be a chartreuse and white bait. Slide it on up the hook. And there you go. That is going to be our double jig setup. Let's go catch some crappie. Oh my goodness, see that thing? That's that vertical piece of timber I was talking about with that long shadow. And there's just so much bait down there. Plus there's a lot of junk in the water right now. It was just hard to see them. But that is a vertical piece of timber with a ton of crappie stacked up. Now, double jig, you can vertical jig it or you can kind of do a pitch retrieve. You can bomb cast it if you really want to. I just like pitching it out, kind of letting it swing through the current. We don't have a ton of, ton of current today, but it's just enough to let these jigs swing through. There we go. There he is. Yep. That would be a healthy eater to start the day. The question is, do I want to keep him? Unless you're like, is that even a question? It's a crappie, of course you keep it. That is, uh, we're going to throw him on the bump board. I'm pretty sure he's going to touch 11. Oh, he's just shy. He's a 10 and 3 quarter. 10 and 3 quarter inch fish. That's coming home for lunch today. Now, I've probably said this a number of times in double jig videos, but the double jig setup just allows you to fish two different color baits. I'm using the same pattern profile because it has worked for a past couple weeks here on the river. Um, this kind of grub style with a super sensitive tail, but it allows you to fish two different color baits. You could fish two different bait profiles if you want to use more of a minnow pattern versus a grub pattern, or even a creature bait pattern, that would work too. But having the ability to fish two different style baits and two different color baits lets you kind of find out what these crappie really want. There he is. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. Come here, buddy. These are some good crappie. These are some good crappie this morning. Sun's just peeking up over the skyline there, or over the tree line. We're catching some crappie. What is this guy? Oh, he's all of 11. Yep. He's. 11 and a half, dang, didn't near 11 three quarter. That's another one going for the live well. So far this uh, October morning's treating me pretty darn well. Let's see if we can catch a few more for breakfast this morning. <clears throat> Drop straight in. Oh, something came out. There he is. Oh, wow. Come here, buddy. That's a good crappie. Is that a 12? We might have caught our 12 this morning. Oh my goodness, we got our 12. There we go. 12 and almost a quarter. 
That's the uh, tanker of a crappie we were looking for this morning. There he is. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Tankosaurus on the top jig. These are some giant crappie. For up north, these are some big crappie. I think this might be another. He, he might be just shy of 12. Let's see what he is in the bump board here. No, he's, <laughs> it's another 12. Yeah, that's another 12 and a quarter. Throw him in the live well real quick for a picture. Oh man, this is these are the type of fish you can catch in the fall. Double jig setups. Imitate those bait fish. Catch some big fall crappie. Well, there you go. Two twelves. Heck of a way to start the the month of October off and put these guys back in the live well. But these are these are some excellent northern Wisconsin crappie. What you're watching. This is how I'm finding these river fish. Come this fall. I'm looking for these current breaks, these sandbars, these rock piles. Typically, if you can find any type of timber, what happens in the spring, the floods come, push that timber on the backside in the current breaks of these sandbars and these rock piles. That's where I'm finding these fish. I'm lucky enough to find uh, vertical timber. If you can find vertical timber, timber sticking straight up, those crop you're gonna hold there uh, during the fall. So if you can find that vertical timber, um, on either lakes or rivers, those crappie are gonna hold up there, especially through most of the fall. If you can find it in deeper water on our natural lakes. Natural lakes up north, it's pretty much a weed line bite, or you're looking for that hard to soft bottom transition. Um, those crappie are gonna slide out there as these water temps cool down. They're gonna school up on those edges, on these river systems. Just find, find the current break. Find some pieces of timber, they're stacked up here. Those uh, 12 inch crappie, I'm gonna put it back here real quick. But uh, yeah, it's been, I think October is going to be a really good bite. Get out on the water this year. Be sure to click the top link in the video description. Again, huge thank you to Two More Casts for sponsoring this video. Be sure to pick up. Be sure to pick up your uh, Euro Tackle Fat Assassins for just a dollar. If your first month, just pick it up for just a buck. Sign up. Click the link in the video description. After that, you're going to get a cool assortment of multi-species lures. Um, the setup today: seven and a half foot ACC. 2,000 size PC Fun Carbon X, 1 16th ACC jigs, and then of course the Euro Tackle Fat Assassins, which you can get for just a buck. And they're not just gonna get one color, I think you're gonna get a multiple assortment of colors here. So sign up, click the link in the description. If you got any comments or questions about how I found the fish or the setup that I'm using, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate you watching. Good luck on the water this fall.